so despite this um, despite having um, little bits of carbohydrates mm. like breading here and there uh, you are still able to lose 500 one. gram uh, oh, uh, uh, I took weight today 800 yeah, so you I eat okay yeah, yeah you still are able to lose um, 1.4 kilos in 4 days which is really an achievement mm -mm. because um, you know like I, I used to run for marathon and I remember um, losing 4 kilos in the first week but that takes a lot of um, you know you have to watch your diet and then I was running every day 5 kilometers every day and you know with all that I lost 4 kilos which is a significant um, uh, amount of weight but with the ketogenic diet without having doing anything no exercise nothing just watching what you eat mm -hmm. and making sure that there's no sugar and carbohydrates like i'm able to lose eight um eight kilos in the first two weeks which was to me like very impressive so like was that also part of the reason why you want to try and watch what you eat instead of like increasing your activity and things like that yes 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 yeah but how open are you to also increase your activities like are you looking at losing the weight first and then like maybe increase your activity uh, after that or like uh, are you the type like you just want to like you're not like what what where where do you fit okay frankly uh, at, at the moment i don't plan to do any workout yet okay uh yeah i know workout is very important okay so like uh, apart from walks uh, I don't plan to jog or take part of in any uh, games. I mean, uh, ball activities like a netball, this kind of thing. <laughs> no, because at the moment, okay, I'm still heavy. I'm still heavy, <laughs> and I don't have a lot of stamina. Okay, so uh, so I hope to lose more weight so that I'll be able to participate in uh, like no uh, more activities like jogging. Uh, some and, and some other sports mm. lah because frankly I do not have the stamina to run uh, yeah running to the bus stop also yeah I, it, can make, make, it can make me pen so mm. yeah I just want to focus on losing weight first mm. yeah um, mm. I think like uh, when I start on the ketogenic diet my main reason was actually to reduce the uh, or resolve the diabetes that I have and mm. like without uh, exercising um, but at the same time, um, I also don't want to like uh, say that you don't have to exercise or you or exercise is not yeah. important. It's still Exer necessary. Yeah. yeah, exercise is important because uh, obviously you need to be um, fit and limber and use your muscles and all that. Because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So um, exercise is still important. But on the ketogenic diet, it is more on the nutritious uh, nutritious aspect of the mm. lifestyle which means that you really have to like focus on what you put inside your body and the thing is like after i lost 12 kilos i feel like more energized i have more energy and i'm more open to exercising now compared mm -hmm. to before i start and and um it's it's i, I feel like ketogenic uh, lifestyle is like a way to for you to like start getting healthy and you know like lose the weight first and then like slowly increase your activities on day to day, mm, yeah. day, -to -day basis later on we're going to cycle <laughs> we're go i'm going to wow <laughs> show yana how to cycle i you really cannot cycle no i cannot cycle okay so yeah. we're gonna show i mean because cycling is is one of the good things like in Singapore like we have the O4 and the Mobikes and the uh, old bikes and all that I think most accessible form yeah, of Yeah, it's very uh, accessible uh, uh, way yeah. of exercising like I cycle from work to home now Wow Yeah, cool. ev uh, like twice a week when I don't mm. have classes when I, you know when I don't have anything after, s after school that I cycle home and it's very accessible because you can get home fast you know because obviously walking gonna take a while so like so i think like that is a great way uh for you to like just add in a little bit of exercise daily you know and get your muscles all limber yes yeah hopefully by end of this year i'll be able to cycle all by myself without any help yeah so are you going to record and uh, document your progress on your channel yes 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 of course yeah so yeah. um how what's the number that you're looking at to lose to say that you it's this is a success and the other question that i want to ask is like um 
because for losing weight like normally we want to achieve a certain weight and then usually once we achieve that certain weight we no longer do the diet yeah because i'm different like i have diabetes so i have to do this forever <laughs> but for yana you know she's healthy and that's why i say that she can get away with a little bit of um sugar and breading here and there carbohydrates because she's not looking into resolve and to resolve mm-hmm. any diseases whatsoever so but like once what's the number that you have to reach uh, or like lose to say that this is a success and like once you reach it are you going to continue this way of eating or you're gonna go back and like um like allow yourself to just go back to what you used to eat before okay i will try to continue keto because it's uh, a good way of eating uh and also if like uh one thing for sure that i will go back to my normal weight if i were to stop keto and not having any, any exercise mm-hmm. but probably i will uh be uh but probably uh, by then i am able to afford to cheat more <laughs> because i've reached okay either my ideal or um, okay it's a bit tough to reach my ideal but i will i will uh, okay uh, one thing is i will confess to all of you my age my age right <laughs> my weight now once i reach my ideal if it ever happened hopefully mm-hmm. but i will definitely share more when my weight uh seems to be more significant or i look more significant more uh slimmer significantly uh example okay if you to watch my videos this kind of thing definitely can notice that this part i've got double chin here yeah uh, certain, angles. Yeah, uh, certain and, angles yeah certain angles also i have double and, and my tummy some i tend to i look better but some and i tend to video uh my uh body until here <laughs> i think seldom any of you have seen my bottom part <laughs> okay the moment that i'm able to expose my whole body to the camera i can happily walk towards the camera and you can see my whole body yeah i will consider myself successful means expose myself by showing you my more pleasant looking whole body so is it uh-huh. is this like the easiest way to use to lose 1.5 kilo in 4 days is this like so yeah, i think yes i think yes because previously you were saying that even 100 grams a day yeah. also is is really tough but i i just want to point out that um i weigh myself every day when i first started on keto mm-hmm. and as a human being i think our weight will fluctuate every day so just because like today you lose 300 gram and then tomorrow you uh, lose 500 and then the next day you gain like maybe 400 gram um that's normal. normal i mean like don't be obsessive with the number because especially for us women um you know uh, our hormones regulate uh, our weight like for our normal you know daily function mm-hmm. so um uh to have fluctuations of weight day in day out that's normal but as long as you feel good um because uh, most people they are heavy but they don't look heavy yeah um, so like always that. go by how you feel like sometimes you might realize that your jeans are looser your clothes are looser but the weight is not is not going any further and that's fine i think um that's like it's it's really okay because at the end of the day nobody is going to know how heavy you are they're just going to see you as you are so i just want to point that out that um yana has been consistently losing the grams but mm-hmm. you might not be but don't feel frustrated because everybody's different yes. and the way you um lose weight might uh, the way and how fast and all that might also be be different yeah so um Last time uh, about 10 to 14 years ago right whenever i took picture whenever i went somewhere i think you took one photo for me before this morning okay <laughs> when whenever i went somewhere i love okay uh, one uh, one pose i love to do is what jump on the air with somebody snapping me while i was jumping on the air i think you took one for me at hendrick apa henry apa wave tu oh uh, um henderson wave henderson wave i think mm. i think that's henderson the last shot lah of me jumping okay uh there's a few shot actually and now i don't think so i can do that because the, the jump is quite i wouldn't say very really high but it, uh, but but you lift it up to the ground and the person is able to snap you but now i couldn't even jump that high so i hope to uh, jump high <laughs> <laughs> yeah i hope to uh, be able to do that pose okay. again yeah i think we should celebrate every um kilogram loss by doing a hike what do you what do you think yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we went once together 10 years back is it 10 years back yeah. or 8 years back yeah some yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh well I I'm sort of like already plateauing with my weight. It's no mm-hmm. longer going as fast as it was uh, a month ago. A month ago I lost 12 kilos and then now it's slowing it's down. Slowing now. down. So um like yeah, I think we should 
<laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, we have a lady here. She's talking to a friend. It's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, I think we should celebrate. Like, say we lose five kilos and then we go for a hike. Yeah. Yeah. We go. Last for time celebration is to be food section. Yes. You know? Yeah. Food section. Food. Food yeah. time. But now it's like yeah. Hike. Yeah. Yes, I think we need to. I think for keto, you need to like sort of move your head space around it mm-hmm. and not use food as a reward, mm-hmm. but like something else as a reward. Like you know, a new pair of shoes, a uh, new yes. pair of jeans, right. or like celebrate with a with a seven kilometer hike across Singapore, which is mm-hmm. the Henderson Wave Southern Ridges Trail. I will share with that. I think once we. We hit 5 kilo, yes? Yeah. Okay. So kilo. once we hit 5 kilo <laughs> gram loss, we are going to do a hike. Me and Yana are going to do a hike together. Yeah. And that would be really interesting. So, yeah. Thank you very much Welcome. for um for allowing me to share, you know, this lifestyle with you and then making mm. videos together. I really hope that it works out for yes. you and then you will achieve the uh, weight loss that you do want. Mm. Do keep us updated sure. with your progress you can also head down to subscribe to Yana mm-hmm. to follow her progress um we'll put the link below or somewhere in this video if i'm like very <laughs> you know if i can do those effects and all that um please also subscribe to my channel yes. to see how i progress how we progress and um yeah, yeah. stay tuned yeah channel Till the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.